Hello friend, welcome back. In your previous video, I have discussed about that math object, right? Now in this video, I want to discuss about that JSON data format. Okay, that, that is a JSON data format. So JSON data format is used to uh, when you actually pass any data from front end to the back end. That means from your client to the server or server to the client, then this data is passing by this JSON format. So JSON format data is just like as an object. Like I show you, everything will be more clear. Like that is a um, I take one of the constant. Okay, that is a constant. So that is a constant. I take one of the variable as a user. Okay, constant user. Then our object. So into this object, when you pass that name property, and into this property area, if you pass that as a Kazi, and then I take another one property as a age. Okay, for the age, I take it as a forty. Okay, I name it as a forty. Great. So now if you con print it, then I show you like print this user that will be the console. Okay, console and then console log into this console log area. I want to print this user. Okay, I print this user. So that will be just like that same. Like you click the save all and now if you go right now, we don't need this. I want to make it as a clean here. I want to make it in here. Okay, now if you click the refresh, now you can see it's not display like that way right it's not display like that way. but when that will be returned by the json format only or into the property area that will be one of the single code okay here that will be one of the single code and then that will be as a value and into this value area when it will be as a json format into the json format you, you cannot add any undefined value and also you cannot add any function so that is the only difference okay friend i show you like here I want to do and to create another um, JSON format data. If you want to create on the JSON format data, then only you have to do um, like here, okay? Like here after this, after this, there is a console log I want to do. So I want to do, I want to take another um, constructor variable. So I name it as a construct, as a constant, and I take one of the variable name as a JSON data, okay? I take one of the variable as JSON data. And now I want to do, I want to make our this object data to the JSON format data, okay? So if you want to make it as a JSON format, then that will be the JSON, and then stringify, okay? Here, with this stringify method, here we can actually change it. So our, I want to do, I want to change our user, right? User object data. So now this user object data I want to do and to display that will be the JSON format data. Okay, here I simply pass, I take all that our user object data, I make it as a JSON format with using that in stringify and I take the things with this variable now in our console log here I print this JSON data. Now if you click as a save all and now if you go, so as I told you object data will be like that. But when you click as a now refresh, now you can see that is our JSON data okay that is some of the double code into the double code area then that will be as a name and then a name as a kazi value and there is another property name as age and then 40. so that is the json format data okay friend literally we'll do a lot of work with the json format data just simply understand so here that is our object data this object data now i transfer to the json format data with the json string file and then i take it and i print it right now that is our display now it's display our json data okay friend and now if you want to change it if you want to make it as a json data to the object data then you can also do that work then you have to do like here that will be as a console okay console there is a console and then console log and into this console log data now i want to do and to again change it so i want to change that our json data so that will be as a json okay here that will be the json and then we can actually change it that means from to the json to the object we can change it by the first okay that will be as a parse parse there is a parse so now with this we can actually change this data i want to do to change our which data i want to change our this json format data okay i simply change it now that will be changed again our object now if you click as a save all now if you go because a refresh now you can see now that is a display as a again our object data i hope friend is very much clear to you so if that is our object, if you want to change any object data to the JSON format, then you have to use that as a JSON and then a string file. And if you want to change that again JSON data to the object data, then you can do that work with using that JSON first. Remember this all that method friend, literally everything will be needed. Okay.
and also if you want to create some of the json format file you can also create this file then only you have to do simply create like hey, for education purpose i name it as a, a new okay dot json okay json so that will be the json file that is our extension will be as a json extension so you can see that is our json extension and here you, you can actually add all that your object like as a json format name okay that is a name and name value value will be as a kazi so that will be the name okay and then you can also use that as the a's only the double code here you have to pass that your key and then that will be that will be as a 40 okay so now into the here i want to make i want to make it as a 40. so that is the json format uh, data you can also create it okay here you can also create this type of json format data so you can create this extension as a new json okay all that your json api data will be in here so literally we'll discuss more about it i hope you get some of the idea what exactly that json format data okay so now that is our object data and then also another one is a json format data great so friend, in our next video, I'm going to start a new session. It's about the JavaScript functions. So step by step, I will cover all the JavaScript functions with the live example. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.